Let me set the record straight. All right. I hear some people talking about it's easy to mount mirrors and uh, hang pictures, uh, mount fixtures to your wall. You know, let's set the record straight. It is easy to hang mirrors and fixtures to your wall. All right. All you got to do is feel comfortable and know what anchors to use. Okay. What's happening? It's your boy Goose you can call me Goose. So today, we're about to go over the most commonly used anchors. All right? Let's begin. Cool. So the most commonly used anchor to me is this pl uh, plastic anchor. All right? They come in different sizes and different colors. But this plastic anchor, you pre-drill a hole, and then um, you push this anchor into the hole. And as you insert the screw, it expands and the anchor is now anchored into the sheetrock all right so let's demonstrate so here i have a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than the anchor okay so that's what you would use you don't want to go uh, too big and then the anchor just falls through the wall all right and if you don't have the proper size bit just keep using the small bit and just keep widening the hole little by little until you can get your anchor inside. All right. So what you'll do, you come here. Now that you have your hole, just take your anchor, place it on the inside. All right. Now this anchor, it's going in, but it takes a little force, right? So what you'll do, take your hammer here. Don't go crazy with it, all right? You're just tapping it to get it snug, all right? So just, just tap it. Okay, now you have your anchor in place, and now you can uh, get your screw and get ready to mount whatever you're gonna to mount to the wall. Um, I will use this bracket, but you put the bracket on first. The screw's too big, but just for an example, you put the screw through the bracket first and then you mount it to the wall, okay? So here, And now you see that the anchor inside the wall expanded out as the screw went in and that's keeping it in place. Okay, next up is the drywall stud anchor. Um, I believe these are aluminum or metal maybe. I'm not sure what they're made of, but um, this anchor is special because you don't need a drill and you don't need a drill bit, right? It's, it anchors itself, really. Um, so you can get your screwdriver and just, matter of fact, let's do that. So instead of using the drill, get your screwdriver, right? And you can just manually insert this anchor just like that so that's a good thing about that anchor so just like the first anchor get your screw and we're not going to use the drill we'll just we'll just keep it manual and insert your screw we're going to use the drill So with this anchor, the screw came through the anchor, but the anchor didn't really expand like this one did. I think this anchor is more, it anchors into the sheetrock because of the threads of the anchor itself, but uh, it didn't expand as much as this one. Um, 
Yeah, so that's how this one works. Okay, next up, we're gonna use the hollow drywall anchor. Um, they're called hollow drywall anchors because they also expand when they get behind the drywall, but if the drywall or the uh, material that you're anchor anchoring to is too thick, the drywall anchor, the hollow drywall anchor, anchor won't be able to expand and hug it like it's supposed to. So um, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, just like the first anchor, this anchor needs to be pre-drilled. You need a pre-drill hole. So if you don't know the size of it, you will take your anchor and just measure it up to a, a drill bit. And you want the drill bit to be slightly smaller than the anchor. This one seems like it's pretty good. Um, so I'm eyeballing it. So this is the one I'm going to use. Um, to avoid eyeballing your your drill bit size and your anchor or whatever. Usually these packets, um, you can find some with the drill bits uh, already inside. So you wouldn't have to worry about having the right size drill bit. Um, it'll already be in a package. Now, if you don't have the drill bit and you have a smaller drill bit, you can use that small drill bit to slowly hollow out the hole and keep testing it to to keep testing it to see uh, if the uh, anchor will fit. But anyway, let's get to work. So, this one works. And then, cool. Cool. Uh, let me also so show you on this drill bit, I mean on this anchor, if you can see that, they have little teeth to help it anchor and mount to the sheetrock. All right, so they stay in place. If you can see that, see that? All right. So now I can't push it in anymore with my hand. I'm going to use my hammer to slightly tap it into place. All right, hammer it in. Okay, so now it's flush. Cool. So what we'll do, we'll change our bit. This also uses a Phillips head screw. So, like I said before, now it's time to mount whatever you're gonna mount. So you will put your screw in here and then mount it to the wall. So. Now let me show you the unique thing about this anchor. You see how that one's expanding? Unlike the other anchors, this anchor flared out and hugged the sheetrock. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So. I just mounted this anchor, the picture hook anchor, right? Now, the perfect thing about this anchor is that it's reusable, okay? So I just mounted it, as you saw, um, as you see here, I was about to mount the other anchor, but I checked the camera. Now, this is how easy it is to take this anchor out, all right? And I can put it anywhere I wanna put it. None of these anchors work like this hanging hook. Um, so let me introduce the hanging hook again. All right, so most of you all, well, some people might say this, is, this isn't a hang, I mean, it isn't a anchor, it's a hook. But nine times out of 10, I would say people have a packet of these hooks or they'll pick up a packet of these hooks to hang their pictures uh, or mirrors. This is ideal. This is what I would choose over 
any of these anchors to hang a picture or a mirror, all right? Um, medium sized mirror and down, all right? So uh, these anchors hold up to 50 pounds each. So two of these, we got 100 pounds, all right? And it's as simple as this, all right? Different hole, just get the hammer. Tap it in. Cool. And it's in there. Hang whatever you want to hang. Take it back out. Reuse it anywhere else on your wall. Okay, last but not least, we have the butterfly or toggle bolt um, anchor. Okay? So, comes in two pieces. This is your butterfly or the toggle bolt. And then you have the screw that goes inside. Okay. And yeah, this is the anchor. Now, when you insert these anchors or use these anchors, you um, have the toggle bolt at the end of the screw as much as possible. And you put it through the hole and then it flares and catches the back of the sheetrock. Okay. So you don't want this toggle bolt. You don't want it in the middle of the screw. You want it at the at the end, because if you put it in the middle, it's gonna open up. Well, it won't even open up. It's just gonna get stuck inside the sheetrock, all right? So it's not gonna do anything for you. So insert it at the end, all right? I'm about to show, show you that right now. Cool. So just like most of these anchors, you need a pre-driller hole. I chose the smaller bit, so I can show you how to hollow out the hole to make it bigger for the anchor that you're trying to use. So here, you see that the anchor won't fit, right? So you'll take your drill bit, this is the smaller one, you'll take it, and you'll just work it like that until you're able to get it wide enough for your anchor to go through, right? So we're good. I can push that through. So this anchor goes in, right? And this is why you have it at the end. So when you push it, it pops open like that, all right? And when you install this anchor, you want to pull it towards you to create that resistance and then start screwing it in, okay? If you don't do that, you'll be doing this the whole time. That's what it'll be doing, all right? Now, the, the only thing that bothers me about these anchors is that if you mount this anchor in the wrong place, you're going to lose this butterfly piece. This butterfly piece is going to just fall behind the wall. So, I've made this mistake. I'm quite sure some people are going to make this mistake. But they insert the anchor without putting the uh, bracket on first, right? So, you're supposed to put the screw through this and then mount this bracket. So, I mean, then mount the anchor. So, uh, well, insert the anchor. So, say you do that, right? What's going to happen is you're going to have to back out the screw all the way back and that's just going to drop behind the wall and it's gone okay so you will have to then it hopefully you have a pack of the uh anchors and that wasn't your last anchor then you will have to put your screw through then put your anchor put your toggle bolt on okay and then put it back through the hole. Boom, all right? So, once you do that, you can use a screwdriver or a drill. I prefer using a drill when it comes to the toggle bolts. All right, so I was telling you all to create some type of friction or force when installing the toggle bolt. So I'm pulling this towards me and I'm screwing. Now, 
if I just did this, it would just spin, okay? Unless you have some insulation or something's up against that toggle bolt to keep it in place, but usually there's not. So it is just spin. All day it is just it is just spin, okay? So you want to pull it out, hold it, pull it towards you, and create that friction, okay? Don't keep your finger back there because you mess up. Yeah, you'll smash something. All right, so just keep pulling it, pulling it, all right? So once it gets to this point, you're usually good, all right? So, cool. Let's go back. All right, so you, you see what I'm saying? So here, now I have to pull it. Now it's getting tight. Cool. All right, so now you're like, appreciate it, Goose. We see how it worked. You know what I'm saying? We see, we see what's going on. But uh, which one should I use? All right, I got you. So when you're mounting pictures, right, something that's not going to be touched, just hanging on the wall, not going to be tugged on or anything, I recommend you should use the plastic anchor or the um, let me get all this out. the plastic anchor or the pitcher hook anchor I mean this this works I, and it's you can reuse them you know if you mess up and it's not even you can take it out the wall and even it up with this one you can't do that with any of these uh anchors um some you might get away with the plastic one but you know if the hole is too close to the other hole it's not gonna it's not gonna anchor right this one you can move these by the inch after you insert them and reinsert them whatever these work i like these so um i would go with these the only issue these don't sit flush to the wall so if something needs to be flush to the wall um this is going to protrude it out a little bit, you know, because of this situation here. But, I mean, if you're not worried about that, I would use these, okay? The next one I would use, your towel bars, anything, high traffic areas that's going to be touched, I mean, constantly touched, the toggle bolt. This is, this is it. I wouldn't use anything else. It would be this, okay? If, if it needs to be tight and sturdy, the toggle bolt by far, all right? Um, I don't like using these anchors because they're not reusable. Um, yeah, they're not reusable. They really just eat up the sheetrock. Uh, let me show you. I want to take this one out, right? Say, say I needed to move this over just a little bit, right? I needed to put it right there. And, and look, the screw is basically stuck in there. You got to get your pliers or something and hold the anchor to screw this out because otherwise you're going to cut your hand up, you know? It's just too much. It's too much, really. But watch. When I, if I needed to move it over just a little bit... You see what I'm saying? It already touches this hole and it's not going to anchor. It's not going to anchor properly. It's going to create a bigger hole. So I don't like these uh, anchors. I don't like using them. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't, you know, it's fine to have them available. If you, if you have a toolbox, you know, you can have them available, but these aren't my go-to. Okay. Um, this hollow uh, drywall anchor is similar to the toggle bolt. It's cool. I, I mean, you can use them, uh, but you got to know what size sheetrock you have. Okay, if you have a real thick piece of sheetrock, it's not going to clamp to the back because the piece of sheetrock, it's going to go through the sheetrock. If it's a real thick piece of sheetrock, all of this will be in the sheetrock, and it won't be able to tighten like it's supposed to um so 
I still would put this one over this one. I don't like these. I've had issues with the anchor with these anchors. But anyway, uh, number one and number two. This one and this one. And number three would be your regular plastic uh, anchors because you can pull these out the wall and reuse them. Um, yeah. And they, they, they stand the test of time too. And you use these for pictures, uh, mirrors, wherever there's, if it's not going to be touched, that's where you should use these. But if it's a towel bar, a uh, coat hanger, anything that's getting touched a lot, I wouldn't, don't use these. Use these for your pictures. Use these for your pictures and your mirrors. And use these for your towel bars, your toilet tissue holders. And they have some huge ones for your TV mounts. You can mount TVs using the big uh, toggle bolts. All right? Okay, so now you've used all these anchors and it's time for you to renovate or it's time for you to move out wherever you're trying to go, but you have to take these anchors out of the wall, right? So this one is the easiest one, right? And that's what it leaves behind, the smallest hole ever. So then you come here where the this mount, this anchor was, and it leaves this hole, okay? And you installed the plastic anchor on a towel bar, right? And somebody snatched it off the wall and left you with this, okay? Then you came through trying to take this off the wall, couldn't get it off the wall, so you took your hammer and popped open a hole like this, right? Then, it's that toggle bolt. Then the toggle bolt came out and created that hole. Now, time for you to move out or you trying to get the house ready to sell and you have these holes in your wall, right? So next time we're building with Goose, I'm gonna show you how to prep your wall for paint, all right? And that's gonna consist of uh, repairing all of these holes properly, seamlessly, so no one knows they were even there, all right? Cool, so there you have it. You know how to use some anchors now, okay? We ran through five of them, the most commonly used anchors. Um, these are for sheetrock for inside the house, okay? Um, you can do it. It's easy. Don't be afraid. All right. You got it. You did. All right. I appreciate y'all for falling through. Till next time, building with goose. Yeah.